queen and welcome to another video welcome back if you are one of my a1 day ones and a part of my a team um if you are new welcome you know <sighs> this is a heck of a video for you to be joining and using it to you know get to know me but if you don't know me what a wonderful opportunity for you to get to know me and for me to get to know you. Um, listen, I'm the resident fat girl and I am here because I just felt like this was necessary to give my point of view about weight loss and body positivity. positivity. Um, but we're going to talk about weight loss because this was a requested video and I want to, you know, do what my girls need. And they said that they needed this. So let's talk about it really quick. If you have not already, please make sure that you hit the like button. Also, subscribe. Get in the comments and let me know. Have you struggled with weight loss? And do you feel like you have to choose between body positivity and taking care of your body? Keyword, your body. So really quick, let me let you know. Um, <clears throat> you don't have to choose. Um, you don't have to lose weight to gain value, okay? I want you to know that you are more than enough. More, let me let me say it loud for the people in the back. You are more than enough right now where you are in this moment today. But if you need a roadmap on your destination, right because you're on a journey and you got something to do and somewhere to go i am your alexa right i'm here to help you with your directions because last year um i was going through a lot i had gotten up to 500 pounds and i lost 127 pounds in eight months and i am still on a weight loss journey and losing weight but contrary to popular belief I believe that I'm allowed to value myself and love myself independent of my weight. My weight doesn't define me. My weight and my weight loss journey is about me. Your weight, your weight loss journey is about you. So I'm hoping that you will take what I say um, and understand where I'm coming from when I say it. Okay, with all of that <clears throat> aside... I'm not gonna do my regular homework and housekeeping for this video. Um, I just wanna say thank you to all of my new subscriber subscribers, welcome. And again, if this is your first video, I encourage you to go and you know take a look, get to know me a little bit, go through some of my videos, you know, so that way you know who I am and what it is that I represent. I'm getting ugh, hair, wig coming in my mouth, that's not good, anyway. So this is a video that I want to do um, just to talk a little bit about the things that helped me and that I wish that I would have been able to see. So when you are a person of size, okay, and you have a certain amount of weight to lose, I believe, in my opinion, in my experience, it's a little bit different than, um, you know, maybe you needing to fit into those pair of jeans for a high school reunion. Um, when you have a lifestyle that has led you to obesity or for whatever the reason is that you're overweight, I just believe that it's a little bit different. So I'm really sincerely, you know, I love all of y'all, but I'm speaking to those of us who may have had more than a hundred pounds to lose, um, like me. So I've lost 127 pounds and now what? Because <laughs> as you can see, I'm still fat, but that's okay. I even got already, can you believe it? Already I have loose skin. I didn't think I was gonna have loose skin being, you know, as big as I am, but I already have it. But you know what? I'm okay with it because I can breathe better. I feel better and I'm happier overall. And I'm excited about where my future is heading to. So I just want to give you guys some practical things um, about weight loss. And then I'm going to show you some specific things that I ate while, and that I still do eat even now while I was transitioning my eating. Okay. So Really quick, <clears throat> when it comes to weight loss, it's about you. Yes, you can reach and look for inspiration in other people, but the number one thing to understand is that you, your life, your way, your body, period. You are not to compare yourself to anybody else. This is about you. And, and this is the one time in your life that you are allowed to be selfish. Please be selfish when it comes to your weight loss journey. You've got to do it your way. Now, 
When we say we're going to do it our way, we're also going to modify it. We're going to do it our way, modify with proven success, okay? So just hang in there with me so you understand what I'm talking about. Focus on the easy wins and work your way up to your big wins. Make small changes and go from there. Okay. So that's the beginning, right? Also, two more things that I think that are important when you're starting a weight loss journey. Of course, consult your physician. I am not a medical professional. I'm speaking in terms of my experience and what has worked for me. Please consult your medical professional before starting any type of diet and or lifestyle change because your medication may require you um, to have a different dietary uh, choices, okay? So please make sure that you're contacting your medical professional when you're you know, deciding to do any type of a diet. Okay, so number, that, that was important. Outside of that, okay, really quick, I think that sometimes we try to treat our weight loss like a problem instead of a symptom. And so sometimes uh, your weight gain or your weight is actually not the problem, it's a symptom. And for me, my weight was a symptom um, of cope, a lack of coping me mechanisms. So I had to go and deal with some emotional issues and I'm still dealing with emotional issues and addressing my coping mechanisms um, before I even started with the weight loss. And I believe that's one of the reasons why this time I've actually been able to consistently lose weight like I've tried to for so many years and so many times. Um, I didn't just get overweight. I've been overweight. I've always been fat. I don't think I ever have been slim. And so for me, I, this is the only me I've ever been able to see as that of being a fat girl. So I'm looking forward to being healthy and knowing what health looks like for me and my body, okay? So I would recommend having someone to talk to. Um, my counselor told me that, Joy, it's not just a diseased mind that needs counseling. A healthy mind needs support and counseling anytime you're going through a big change. So get you some counseling, okay? The next thing, after we consulted the medical professional, we've gotten us some, some counseling, make sure that you are looking at yourself and that you are not being too hard on yourself. When you're too hard on yourself, sometimes that makes you give up. Now, I'm not saying just be lax and throw in the towel, but please don't be too hard on yourself and don't beat yourself up because this is something that unfortunately for us, we are going to be dealing with for the rest of our lives. This is not something that we're going to be able to do today and be done with tomorrow. This is going to be a lifestyle journey, not just temporary weight loss. Okay, so we're 10 minutes into the video. Now let's get to the fun stuff, the stuff that you guys came here for. And that's to see, girl, what did you eat or not eat to lose this weight? So I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and grab the stuff. And we're going to go through some of my snacks. And also, I'm going to have a bonus for you guys. I'm going to make my meal replacement shake um, that I also used, you know, to make sure that I was getting all my vitamins and minerals and nutrients and all of that in there while I was on my weight loss journey. So I will be right back and we'll get into the specific things I ate to lose 127 pounds in eight months. And I'm still losing even in quarantine. Be right back. Hi, my loves. Okay, welcome back. So really quick, I wanted to say something that I may have forgot to mention last time. Really quick. One of my biggest rules for this journey that I'm on and that I'm still on is do what the hell you want to do. This is your journey. I'm just giving you a roadmap of what I did. I'm not telling you what to do. I want you guys to please write that on a piece of paper. Do what you want to do, okay? Don't forget. Write it down. Make it clear. <laughs> do what you want to do. Because I have a lot of stuff that I'm about to go through with you guys. And I'm going to try to make it really quick. So 
bear with me, but I did just want to come back and say, this is your weight loss journey. So make sure that you do everything the way that you want to do. But one of the most important things when you're on a weight loss journey, okay? Let me take a drink, I'm getting hot. I'm drinking water. <laughs> Another thing is, if you don't like it, don't eat it. I spent a lot of time eating things that I didn't like, right? Because I thought that that was the way that we were gonna lose weight. But I'm gonna give you, like I said, specific things that I ate. Let's start with drinking. Now, I eventually got to where I can just only drink water. But in the meantime, between the time, we had to get there, right? Two really quick things that I wanna to say to you about drinking water, okay? This is my water for today. Okay, just regular. This is what I've drunk so far today. Okay, and it's about five o'clock in the afternoon, so we're not doing so bad. One of the biggest things for me with drinking is have something simple. Associate your drinking with something pretty. You don't like water, but if you put it in something pretty, it makes it easier to drink. I know you think I'm crazy, but try it before you knock it, okay? Water. So I usually have one for coffee. These are not my coffee cups. I'm gonna show you my coffee cups. But one for water, one for coffee. So pretty cups, okay? Help encourage me to drink. I'm moving things to the side so I know when I've used them already. Pretty cups help encourage me to drink more water, right? And I drink it out of a gallon that's specifically for me so I can measure my water intake. If you're on water pills or you have edema and you deal with swelling and you have to only drink a specific amount of water, it also helps to have those type of cups because you know like, okay, those are 32 ounces. That's all the water that I'm supposed to have for the day. Okay, also because Maybe you're a coffee drinker. I'm a coffee person. I was going to Starbucks every day, spending a thousand calories, right? I talk about calories in terms of like, I would talk about money. Spending a thousand calories on drinks. So these are coffee cups that I bought from Walmart. I think they were maybe three or $4 for six. So you better shine. This one just has dots. And this one I believe is, 16 ounces this is i want to say 24 right this is 16 ounces good vibes only right and then they come with tops plastic tops that you can just put in the dishwasher bpa free all that good jazz make your own coffee just in case you have somewhere to go you know and you can measure it and you know exactly how much of it you drink so make your own coffee specific tools that i use to help me i'm moving stuff out the way so i don't forget so i know i've used it already okay so since we're going to start with coffee if you're making your own coffee drink coffee you like Oh, it smells so good, you guys. This is New England Coffee Butter Pecan. It's one of my favorite flavors. My other flavor that I like, um, this is an Arabica coffee. I feel bougie. Arabica Butter Pecan is one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites is Peppermint. So Butter Pecan, Peppermint, flavored coffees, no calories makes your house smell like Christmas and baking and cop. It's just favorite. Listen, butter pecan. Don't say I ain't never tell you nothing. Get you some butter. I'm a big coffee drinker. Like I said, I was drinking a thousand calories at Starbucks. Okay. So this is that. What do I put in my coffee? Now, I know you guys, if you've done any kind of weight loss, you know about this, right? Protein, premier protein. These are my favorites. I use these two to make my shakes. I use this one in the coffee. But my coffee needs a little bit more 
than that damn Premier Protein. I know everybody says, oh, all I need is Espresso and Premier Protein. To me, it's nasty. I make a very strong coffee, right? Which is something you're just gonna have to do trial and error, make your coffee. I put half, and another thing, these are expensive. Okay, to me, these are expensive. Sometimes they're $8 for four. So I only use half of this in one of those 16 ounces of coffee. And with this, okay, which this has 160 calories. So four carbs, one gram of sugar. So I typically, um, 30 grams of protein. Typically will do half, right? With my, with my butter pecan coffee. And I add French vanilla Tarani. Now this Tarani, you can get strawberry, you can get mango online, okay? All different kinds of flavors. You can get vanilla, caramel, all of that. And this is Coffee Mate Italian Cream, okay, sugar free. Typically it's one tablespoon, it's 15 calories and one gram of carb. I like to use a scale, put my cup on there, zero it out, bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 and this together. That's how I make my coffee. And I can also put it in a blender with some ice and make an iced coffee, right? And when I really wanna be fancy, you know what I do? Fat-free ready whip. This has five calories per two tablespoons and one gram of carb. Right on top of that, and I drink it through a straw and I'm bougie, right? Okay, still with drinks. When I gotta have something carbonated. Strawberry, now some people like LaCroix. I prefer bubbly, bubbly, right? Strawberry bubbly is my favorite. I don't have it right now because I'm out of it. But sugar-free Tarani, not French vanilla, strawberry. Then I take me some fresh strawberries They're looking a little dark, right? I cut me on some strawberries. That is a uh, condensation, not mold. But anyway, so that's what I put when I need something to drink, okay? Now, when it came for me to have something to eat, I ate a lot of salads. When you eat salads, the more greens that you need, right? Salads, greens, spinach, that type of thing. Look, spinach, baby spinach, right? You seem like, oh, we use too much salad dressing. Well, I also weigh and measure my salad dressing with a um, scale. And I like Italian Olive Garden salad dressing with croutons, light. This has two tablespoons, 30 calories, two carbs, which are both added sugar. But I'll make me a salad, put a little bit of that on there. And you know what else? Tyson, cannot live without Tyson chicken. Now they have these in the every flavor, Asian, uh, fajitas, chicken breast. I take me some sugar-free barbecue sauce, some of this chicken on top of that for a side, frozen broccoli, I'm done. And I keep it moving. So that's something that you wanna think about making it easy, making it simple, something that you can do easily. So these were just a few of my favorite things that I ate a lot of, um, blueberries, fresh blueberries. I would take, I showed you those strawberries, right? I would take those same strawberries because we know it's expensive and we might not be able to eat, eat them quick enough before they go bad. Put them in the freezer and you can use this in doing what? making a smoothie. So I'm not gonna show you my secret recipe right now, but I have a secret recipe for smoothies and I'm gonna do a smoothie video and show you what that is. But really quick, I have a few more things that are snacks and then I'm out of your hair. Let me see. Oh, really quick. No sodium seasoning. We ain't got time for Mrs. Dash. We use 
Dax. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. Dax seasonings. No salt, no sodium, no MSG. Dax seasoning. Okay. We can put this in our coffee too. So let's talk about snacks. Have you tried these? Let me tell you. One of these with some fat free ready whip. Okay. These have 38 calories, zero starch, zero sugar, five grams of fiber, four grams of protein. You can't beat it. Okay. Smart cake, cupcake. Okay. Also, built bars. These are my protein bars. This is cookie dough. You can't have them, they mine. Something that I love and that I use to help satisfy my appetite, but to eat when I needed a snack. Now, this is almond butter, Justin's. High, high, high in calories. But this with a little bit of an apple, when you're really, really hungry, I'm telling you, it takes the hunger away. And Fiber One, let me tell you something. Fiber One cheesecake bars, I don't have any right now. So I have to show you the soft baked lemon. But listen guys, these are the specific things that I ate, okay? That really helped me to lose weight. I mean, almond milk, right? But I use that in my shakes. It's a journey. And it's a journey that you have to go on. And you can't compare yourself to anyone else. But I just wanted to let you guys know, I lost 127 pounds in eight months. I'm still working on it. But these are some of the things that I did and that I ate that really helped me to go on that journey. Now, if you like this video and you want more videos similar to it or you have questions, then definitely go ahead and drop it down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And listen, I love you. Remember, beauty is a state of mind, not body. My mind is stuck on gorgeous. What are you thinking? I want to know. Mwah. Have a great day.